Hello everyone, my name is Ahmad Hagazi. I am a static equipment design engineer. In this video, I will present my iLogic model, made especially for, for Apot and Co. New Arc Limited, which is stated in United Kingdom. The model will be used to create a vertical air receivers. Let's start. We will open Autodesk Inventor. That's a 3D model of vertical air receiver. First, from this window, we will fill design data, construction code, uh, operating pressure, design pressure, hydro test pressure. All of this data shall be filled. After that, we will open the shell data. From this window, we will select the type of the shell course, if it will be a plate course or a seamless pipe. Let's check seamless pipe. In the case of selecting the seamless pipe, This dialog box will be activated by data, and that one will be not. From here, we will select the size of the pipe. 24 inches. And from this window, we will select the schedule of the pipe. Here, that's a value for seam to seam from the top welding line and bottom welding line here. We will increase this value. We will find the length of the second pipe will be increased. If we make that one equals to seam to seam, the second course will be deactivated. Like that. We will make it blade course. Like that. And change the inner diameter to And the shell thickness to 8 millimeters. We will make this air receiver from two pieces. The first one takes its value. The other course will be calculated automatically according to the same to same value. Now we will open the head data. From this window, you can select if, it's the, if it, this head is a standard cap or dashed head. In the case of dashed head, you have two selections. If the inner diameter equals to the shell inner diameter or it will be labbed. If we select labbed dashed head like that, You can hear if we change it to a dash head again. Okay. From here, we will change the head thickness the head straight flange head minimum thickness after forming and we have here an option to change the crown radius and the knuckle radius 
from nameplate dialog box. If we open the nameplate dialog box, we can change the shape of nameplate from standard shape of Apple New Arc to a special one by using a bracket. In this bracket, we can add also a client nameplate on it, like that. You can see the changes here, and you can enter these dimensions according that view. We will change the location of my plate. Okay. From this window, we will open the support link dialog box. From here, we will change another shape of support UPN. And we will select the size. Like that. These dimensions according to this drawing. We can here activate the cutting angle that one or deactivate and we can write the value of cut here. We can activate or deactivate also the wheel plate like that. And from here we will insert the dimensions of the base plate length with thickness and the fillet for sharp corners hole diameter if there is more one more than one hole like that or four holes like that and this is the dimension and the location of the telltale hole After that, we will make some changes for the lifting line. From here, we will deactivate the wheel plate. We will change the dimensions of lifting line according to this drawing. We can change the orientation, location, the material. We can make it single lifting lug like that or two lifting lugs we will activate the rear plate to that now we will make some changes in couplings in this receiver we will open this dialog box from this dialog box we will change the top coupling here It's a full coupling, and that one is not plugged. We will change the rating of this coupling. And we will change the size too. And we will change the projection to 35, like that. For the drain coupling, we will make it half coupling and we will make it plugged like that. We will increase the rating, we will minimize the size. 1 inch. 
search and okay it's okay now we will add some couplings and nozzles to the shell cores we will add a pressure gauge from the coupling window we will activate the pressure gauge coupling after that we will open the form of this coupling we will select if it's coupling or half coupling plugged or not change the size of that one change the rating we will add another one as a inlet from this dialog box we will change the location we will make it we will make it plugged and three inches we will add another one We will change the orientation. Location. Like that. After that, we will add <coughs> sorry, some flanges, flange nozzles. First one, we will open the dialog box. From this dialog box, we will select according to this shape if it's with internal projection or set in nozzles or a set on nozzle like that we will make it with internal projection we will change the size location orientation projection we will deactivate the blind flange we will not need it Here you will write the values of the welding root which will appear in the uh, GA drawing. We will activate another nozzle. We will add a blind flange. Change the size we will change the location Now we can create a 3D model for a receiver easily in little minutes. And now we will see how the 2D drawing can be created easily with a full detail uh, bill of material. Uh, that's the creator of the program. Now we will open the general arrangement of drawing here 
you can see the edge receiver after changing and the pull-off material full detail pull-off material let's start with the dash head full detail description all items here welding joint details we will add some welding joint details for the uh, shell to hit connection we have different types like that we will select the types that we need for the half coupling detail we have a different shapes we will activate the shapes that we need for full coupling we have a different details four flanged nozzles and the wheels after that I will add the nozzle table data which contains full detail description for the nozzle and the pliant bolts welding sizes according to the uh, welding drawing thank you for your time